Blanca, could you tell me a little bit of your experience around the breathing clinic here at Hobson Institute? What, what have you been getting out of it? I have gotten positive uh, breathing, better sleeping, and I'm able to um, wake up with my tongue where it's supposed to be. I never knew that your tongue has to be placed under your, your gum area, but I noticed that um, um, I'm sleeping much better. I, I, I can't say I'm not snoring, but my husband said I'm not snoring no more. And, and he could see the difference because of the reason I kept him up too. So uh, I'm, I'm actually very pleased with this institution because I'm able to breathe better. I learned to breathe better. And I'm able to say that um, I, in one week, I haven't had a migraine headache or a headache, which was killing me for the longest. I could um, feel less pain around my, my uh, jaw, but I also had a lot of pain in my neck, which eventually I'll, I'll get better. And I'm doing my exercises, breathing exercises every day, and I count and I write down every time that I'm doing something to help myself. So I thank this institution and to Dr. Hobson that I'm able to breathe better and sleep better and less headaches, actually not less, I haven't had a headache in one week or a migraine headache. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much for coming back to the Hobson Institute Breathing Clinic. And I wanted to know, how much did you get out of it this time around? It's really been wonderful, and um, well, more specifically, it's, it's 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 refocusing my training. I realize that I've got, you know, enough opportunity to put better strategy in place. So I'm just trying to figure out, you know, out of all of the three or five or ten different um, powerful suggestions you made, if I could just like come a point of reference of like really narrowing it down to three that I could really practice and. And the ownership is on me to come back because you, you offer these clinics and i reminded to make it a priority. Well, Dr. Hobson, when I signed up for the breathing course, much of it was because of my professional work in the field of sleep. And I was learning more and more about breathing, which was sort of a silent part of the sleep world sleep specialists, experts, researchers that I knew weren't talking about breathing in the way that you were teaching. Of course, they were talking about sleep disordered breathing, such as obstructive sleep apnea. No question about that. But I wasn't hearing people ever asking, oh, are you a mouth breather? I mean, people wear CPAPs for obstructive sleep apnea and nobody ever asks how they're breathing during the day or even while they're wearing their CPAP. So, I wanted to come to your course to learn more about the science and the actions associated with breathing. Little did I know, and I didn't have a particular problem, I wasn't a mouth breather, I was a nasal breather, but I learned that I needed to improve my breathing.